In this video, I'm going to talk about case resolution. How do you do a case resolution in Dynamics 365 customer service, customer service hub application? Now, case resolution is a process whereby uh, when a case is recorded in the system and if the case is resolved, then the agent goes back into the system and starts resolving those cases. So if you see over here, these are the list of cases which is currently available within the system. So if I click on one of the record, Okay, one of the record. And if I click on resolve case, it says I can close this case as a result. All related activity must be closed before this case can be closed. Now, if I click on resolve case, then a pop up message box will appear. Now, watch for this pop up because this is going to change over a period of time. Now, it has got a nice message box kind of an interface and you can select whatever field you want and you can provide your resolution. So maybe let's say if I say problem solved, so I'll just say Girish has solved the problem. So this is how you resolve the case, okay? Now, once you do that, now remember I am in that list view. So this is a list view, okay? Now, if I go inside this record, this record will be marked as read only because the case is resolved. And in the timeline, I will be able to see the comment which I have put. Okay, so this is the comment which I have put. Now, that's good. If I go back, now I have resolved the case by going, uh, uh, by just selecting this record, right? Now, what if I'm inside the record? So if I'm inside this record, how do I resolve the case? Now on the top, again, you will see something called as a resolve case. You click over there and again, the same pop-up will appear. Okay, so case resolution can be done within a form and it can be done outside the form in a list view as well. Now, what if I select multiple items and try to see resolve case, I don't find that option. So you can only resolve case at once for one record. Okay, so you can't multi select multiple records and resolve the case because you need to uh, definitely add some resolution. So that's why it is not available. So that's one of the thing. Now, case number one is already resolved. Okay. And that's why if you go inside case number one, it says it's read only the record status is resolved. Now let's start doing something related to case one. So if I click on case one and again, try to resolve the case, it will give you a message that this case is closed. You cannot resolve or cancel a closed case. So that means if a case is already resolved, you cannot again resolve it. Okay. So that's quite obvious. Okay. Okay. Now, if I click on say this record, let me see, resolve the case. Now, what if I want to customize this message box? Can I do that? Yes, definitely you can do that. But in order to do that, you need to first understand a couple of things. Now, in customer service admin center application, under case settings, you have an option under case settings, you have an option called as other settings, which says make solving cases easier for agent. If I click on manage, then <clears throat> if I scroll down a bit, it says resolve case dialog box. Select the style of the resolve case dialog box. Now it is a standard dialog box. Now what are the other options? There is a customizable dialog box and then there is a quick create dialog box. So let me select customizable dialog box and click on save. Okay. Now once the page refreshes, then I should be able to see customizable dialog box. Now what does that dialog box represent? Let's find that out. So here, if I go into this record and let me see if it is refreshed or not. So if I click on resolve case, now a different form appeared. Okay. Now you can see a button, save and close, close and the heading. And, you know, this field is same resolution type and resolution, but I had one more field added over here, you know, so what does that mean? That means that I can trigger a form, you know, open a form and I can add multiple columns to it, you know, multiple fields to it. So that means if you want to have a case resolution process, you can have multiple fields defined. Okay. So, but where does this all things needs to be configured? So in order to understand that, you need to understand that in the back end, if you go to tables, you know, there is a table called as cases. So whereby all the cases gets stored. 
but there is an another table called as case resolution which will store all the case resolution details so it's a special type of activity that includes description of the resolution billing status and the duration of the cases so let me refresh the screen now recently i have resolved one of the ticket right and i put some comments now if i go into the stables case resolution in the back end then i can see the comments which i've added see girish has solved the problem tests is the record and it will give you other fields also okay so this is that form which will hold key information now if i go to say forms okay now here i have main form and a quick create form okay so let me go into the main form first now if i go into the main form then i should see the same thing which appears on the back end you know like when when i resolve the case so let me add a couple of things you know let me add customers let me add organizer let me make this uh, feel uh, this form a bit bigger you know and let me save and publish and once it is published i'll try to refresh the cases here now this is the older form so if i close this just say discard changes control f5 refresh it let's see whether it is published or not it's still publishing so what i'm doing is i'm basically modifying the case resolution form the main form so that whenever a case is resolved these fields uh, need to be inputted by the agent okay so let me refresh it again and if i select say the record and if i click on resolve case then now instead of that old form now i can see a bit comprehensive form over here now this has many fields now why that many field has come because i've configured this information form to hold many fields and that's how i customize the resolution form okay so this is one of the way through which you can customize the uh, uh, resolution form okay now this is one of the form now similarly you have case resolution quick create form as well so if i click on case resolution quick create form then i can even modify this particular form and i can uh, show that uh, in the interface as well so as you see over here in the back end under customer service admin center there were options like uh, standard dialog customizable dialog and then there was a quick create dialog so if i click on quick create dialog if i click on save here now if you see quick create has a billable time in it okay billable time field okay so let me close this discard the changes and refresh this so there are three different ways through which you can uh, you know define the message box so one is the standard dialog box second is a customizable one and the third is a quick create one so you can define your own fields uh, as in how you have designed your system for resolving the cases so now if i click on internet not working uh, case if i click on resolve case now the quick create case resolution has come right now this is not a message box right earlier the message box was popping somewhere here uh, and then we used to type in the form now this is a quick create form so now here you can type in uh, whatever information you want you can design the form and then you click on save and close and then the record will get closed okay so that's it folks this is how you basically work with a resolution within dynamics 365 customer service application and now this is applicable for any of the customer service application thanks for watching